Hello everyone, welcome back to Flourish Field and um, in, the, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the continuation of our guessing game, the video we created, um, the blinking effect. This is the continuation of the video we created, the blinking effect. Now, now let's check. Now, we, in the last video, we created the blinking effect. So when I click on the flag, the, the text starts blinking and then I press, when I press space, the game starts 5, 4, 3, two one and then it takes us to the environment so this game is like a, a guessing game now the sprite will ask us to make a guess between one and hundred and then this user starts typing um different numbers okay okay so the number of trials the user have may be probably is five or seven and then after five trials the sprite will tell the user the correct answer so now let's see how the game looks like okay all right so let's get started so the first thing we're going to do is to start with an event. In this case, we are going to be starting with when I receive blue sky. Now, when I receive blue sky, this will actually help us. You can actually check the previous video to understand why we're using when I receive blue sky. But I'll still explain right there. So in this video, we said that when we receive blue sky, we want the backdrop to change. So when the backdrop changes, we want the, the sprite to start asking those questions. All right, so how do we start? We would tell the sprites to wait a second because we don't want the sprite to just start talking when the sprite when the backdrop changes. We want the sprite to wait a second before uh, we start telling us about the guessing game. And then we go to looks now and then say, "Hello, welcome, welcome to our." Guessing game. Guessing game. Um, you say again, and then, oops, sorry, it's supposed to be on the top, on the top. And then you say again, um, you would pick a number between 1 and 100. Okay, and then it's going to say for the last time. You have just uh, seven trials, so you you can only guess the number seven times, or even five. Five is okay. Five trials, or five trials, and then that's all. They will start the game. You say ask. This time around, now you want to ask. Uh, can you make a guess for the first trial or? Something that would be interactive, okay, for the user. You could just say, um, what? Or you could say, okay, I am thinking of a number. Okay, let's start with that. I am thinking of a number. What could that be? I am thinking of a number. What could that be? Now you want you want the user to you know make a guess. Now the user would wait. Remember this ask ask block would actually wait for the user's answer. All right. So we need to set the answer the user imputes into a variable called number. So we are going to create a variable called number. If you do not know how to create a variable, you can check on the link above to understand how to create variable and then come back to this video to continue. All right, so let's go. We go to make variable, and then you say um, number. Now, in this case, we are going to set our number. We're going to set the number to be equal to what the answer that the user types in. Okay, so you go back to sensing now, and then you drag the number inside. Okay, now this would receive the number and then impute it and store it in the variable called number. But yet we've not actually used it for anything. Okay. All right. Let's let's get let's continue with that. All right. Before we continue, let's just check how far our code is running. Okay. Now, guessing game for teenagers. Press start. Press space to start. So when I press space, and it goes five, four, three, two, one, and then start the game. You wait for one minute and then say, "Welcome to my guessing game." You will pick. Okay. Now you have five trials. I'm thinking of a number. 
what could that be? Uh, then I could say 54. And then when I hit enter, now it's this story, 54. But now we've not used it for anything. The reason is because we've not even decided what the sprite is thinking. So how do we do that? We're going to create another variable. Um, that variable will be called random number. Okay. Now this variable, we want the uh, number to be picked at random. So random number. Now that random number will be set like this. So to set your random number, let's just give a space. Then you say set to set what random number to what? Come to operators. You come to operators right there, and then you say pick random. You see, put it inside there. Now, now we want the sprite to pick random between one and what? Hundred. All right, between one. Under. So, the user, when we click on the flag or when we start the game, automatically a number is generated as random number right here. So, that is the number we're going to compare to the number the user guessed to, the, to decide if the user got the answer correctly or not. And then we're going to give the user five trials. So, we need to also create another variable called trial that is the number of time the user will start would um the number of time the user would uh, make the guess so we call it what trials and then we we'll click on okay so we are going to initiate that trial it's also going to be at the start we're going to initiate trials to be equal to what because we said five times so five so it's going to start counting down to five to zero so when it gets to zero um, the spice says game over and then tell us the answer. So how do we loop it? Now we said, I am thinking of a number. What would that, what could that be? And then it makes a guess. But before we do that, we need to loop this. So we're going to come to control. Now we want to loop this, um, we want to loop this code. We'll say repeat. Now we're repeating it how many times? We're repeating this code how many times? Or in fact, we're not using repeat. This is where I'm going to introduce repeat until code. Now, this repeat until code will allow us to give our loop a condition. What did I say? This repeat until code will allow us to give our loop a condition. Now, what is the condition? The condition would be let's go to operators and then we say, um, okay, we're going to pick this. We're going to repeat until trials. We're repeating this until trial is less than one. That is until trial is zero. And then what are we repeating? So we're, we're asking for the number and then we're imputing it. Okay, now the first thing in the loop is I hope you're getting it. If, if I'm too fast, you could actually slow or pause the video and try to understand. But if you still have misconceptions, you can always drop your messages on comments and then I'll um, answer the question. All right, so let's continue. Now, we said repeat until trial is less than one. That is until trial is equal to zero. That, that's what it means. So now what do we do? We say ask, I'm thinking of a number. And then when you input the number, what do we want to happen? We are going to say... Um, we're going to reduce the trial, so you can see set um, trials to be what um, trial minus one. So you come right there and say trial minus one. What this means is after answering the question and you got it wrong. We want the trial to reduce by one, so it keeps counting. Four, five. Now let's run this like this, and then see what happens. We're not done with the code yet, but let's run it and see what happens. Okay, so when I start afresh, you see, my number was 54. 54 already. I would work on that. So space five, four, three, two, one, and then zero. It starts. Hello. Welcome. You see, he's already showing me that random number, but I'm not going to try that. So, you have five from that. So, we go for the three. You see, 
it reduces by 4, right? Okay, um, 54. Going again, 3, 67. I hope you understand the logic. 2, 32, and uh, 1. Because I did not pick the correct answer, which is random number, it just stops. But we're not done yet, okay? All right, let's continue. So, you can see the logic behind the trial. So, obviously, we have been able to set our trial to reduce until it gets to zero, and then it stops. So, now, how, what, what do we want the sprite to say when, after um, picking a number and then giving it a clue? So, we're going to come to condition. This is where I'm going to introduce to you condition. I'm going to introduce condition right there. So, condition is, you're setting a condition for your loop. So, you say what? If you put it after, okay, so we're going to remove the trial. The trial is supposed to be after. I'm sorry, if this is now. If the number, I just wanted to follow now. If the number that you guessed, that is the number that you imputed, is greater than what? Random number. <laughs> you see that? If the number you imputed is greater than the number, we want the sprites to give it a clue. Now, we want the sprite to give it a clue. And what would that clue be? We want the sprite to say, Oh, good try. But your number is a bit higher. You see what? Good try. But your number is higher. Sorry, is higher. Or is greater, so I think that's okay. Is greater than what I'm thinking. Do you see that? And then he said, if the number is greater, he said, you try. The number is greater than what I'm thinking. And you go again and say, what if it is lesser? You wanted to say the same thing, right? So you say, if again. If, oops, if I'm going to come down again and scroll down again and then go, let's put this trial after this. Let's say what? Let's duplicate this code. Let's say if, if number, if number, oops, it's supposed to be lesser now. So let's choose the lesser operator. So, so if number is lesser, if number is lesser than what random number, uh, I wanted to say, so let's duplicate this code right there. I wanted to say, good try, good try, but the number is lesser, is lesser, is lesser, the number is what? Lesser than what I'm thinking. And then, what if it is? Equals to the random number. Aha, uh -huh, that's what we're waiting for. What if the number I picked is equal to the random number? All right, so you come again and say if, come to the control structure, and then you're giving it a condition again that's what? If. Aha, uh -huh. so you go to the operator now and say what? If um, the number that you typed in. Is equals to what the random number, and then you're gonna say uh, you're supposed to play sound or something, do something fun. Okay, you're gonna play sound. Okay, let's pick a sound, let's pick a very nice sound. Oops, okay, no, let's pick a very nice sound. Come to sound, uh, I'm gonna pick a very nice sound, something, something that shows that someone wins something. Okay, right, I'm gonna select a sound. You okay, know, let's select a good sound. Um, I'm looking at something that would show that I want something. I'm looking at something. Okay, let's see emotional. No, 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 no. That doesn't sound like a winning um, dance there. Okay, let's just speak a sound for now. <laughs>
Okay, let's pick a short sound, I guess. A short sound. Uh -oh. We're looking for a sound. Okay. <laughs> I think I like that. So I don't mind that. That's what I'm going to pick. So that sound is what I want to pick. So you say play sound. You could find another sound, okay? And then after playing sound, then you say you win. Wow, you win. You win. Okay, you can scroll it down a bit. And say you win. Okay, let me make it, let's make it a bit smaller. Okay, and then say what? You win. You win. Alright, so this is how our guessing game is going to look like. Um, yes, there are a lot of things we can improve on, but this is going to be the basic one for now. And then in the next video, I'm going to be showing you how to create more games. Okay. I hope you could actually improve on this. Uh, if you want to improve on this, you can do that and then send it to me in the mail that I will attach to you, to the video and then so that I could work on that together with you. Okay. All right. So let's check it and then before I end the hopes. Yeah. For it to make it look like a game, I'm going to hide all of these variables so that they don't see what is happening behind. All right. Let's check now and see. All right. So let's start the game. Five, four, I'm ready. I, I want to see if I'm going to win this, okay? All right, let's go. I'm excited now. Hello, welcome to our guessing game. All right, yeah. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. What's, what's the next thing? You will pick a number between one and hundred. Yes, I know that. Come on. Bring it on. Come on. Yeah, you have, yes, I know. I have five trials, and I'm going to give it to you right now. I'm thinking of a number. What could that be? Okay. Mm, I. You see, I'm a genius. I'm going to start from the middle. Say 50. And then press enter. Good try. But your number. Oops, I didn't get that information. I need to. No, no, I didn't get that information. All right, let me go. 25. Your number is greater. Wow. So it's between. The number is between 1 and 25. All right, so let's go. 15. It's still greater. So it's still between 1 and um, 15. So let me go 7. It's lesser. So it's between 7 and 15. And I have just one more try. 7. So it's either, it's either 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So let me pick. Um, let me pick 12. It's greater than what I'm thinking. Oops. I didn't get it. But now, we 